Where are you from, ma'am? Oh, no, okay, sorry. Okay, you said your name is from. I'll let you Okay. Hi, my name is Kathleen Ocola. I live in Dark Kings. I know. Uh, I uh, am part of a group of women who have formed the North uh, South County Hub. And part of our group is the immigration group that we've been working very hard uh, to raise awareness and also to assist agencies that are helping immigrants. We are horrified at what happened at Wyatt. We and many Rhode Islanders find it totally astounding that a correctional officer ran over people, putting two people in the hospital, stunning out of state, putting us on the level of Charlotte law, and he didn't get arrested. I mean, any one of those prisoners in that detention facility, which is an abysmal situation to begin with, any one of them would have done the same thing, they would have been cuffed in a, in a second. And this man was allowed to walk out, was allowed to design the action. And you know, we, if there's no transparency, we do not know what's going on. I mean, if anyone in this room knows what's going on, what's the status of the investigation, and then frankly, why do you have to investigate? This was done in front of cameras. Yeah. I mean, the, the law was granted by a defender of the law, and he was allowed to resign the next day and was never brought to account to us, the citizens of this state. Attorney General Monroe has announced that he is going to investigate. 